All right, starting today, we are going to move into our economic section of the year. And that is going to start with how our government raises money. Um, so these are the key terms you should have already defined and gotten down into your study guides or onto your worksheets. So we will move from that to what we have here. So go ahead and jot down what you have on the screen. You can keep writing once I begin talking again when the timer hits zero. Okay, so not to spend too much time on this because as we move through this, it, we're breaking things down into small portions. So they shouldn't take too long to get through. But the United States government, with everything that it does, costs trillions of dollars to run. Not millions, not billions, but trillions. So the, the idea here is, is that, that all that money has to come from somewhere. And today we're going to talk about all the different areas that it comes from. So, but when the federal government is going to essentially spend money, they have to create a budget uh, so that the taxpayers know what the government is spending its money on. So you have various different things that go into that. But the majority of the money that the federal government gets, gets is from tax dollars, specifically from income tax. So on the graph on the screen here shows you the rise in income tax collections versus all other taxable, um, whether it were revenue or income or money. Um, so uh, the American people are the ones that fund the government from all 50 states, even from territories as well as if people come to visit from other countries, the taxes they pay or the goods that are shipped in from other countries, there's taxes on those so that that funds the government. So that's what tax dollars are used for. Um, now, depending on what year you're, you're looking at, so when the textbook was written, um, Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid where the top spending priority other years, it might be the military. Currently, at least with our last budget, the military was the largest amount of spending in terms of a category. But that can fluctuate depending on what's going on at the time uh, that the yearly budget is submitted. Um, so, but those are the two main categories. A large majority of the federal budget goes to the military and it goes to Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid. Um, so a lot of times the federal government goes into debt to make sure that those 
programs and those uh, branches of our government are running properly. Um, and so that also gets added to um, the overall amount of money that the federal government needs. Uh, so there's the amount of money, the amount of revenue that they can take in from tax dollars, and then there's additional money that is borrowed from other foreign countries. And we'll get into that in a minute. You got two, less than two minutes. Okay, so in terms of spending, uh, talking about spending the money, the Congress is the branch, the legislative branch, that determines how the government spends the revenue from taxes. Now, a president can submit a budget in how they believe that Congress should allocate or split up the funds, um, but that doesn't mean that Congress always has to follow that. Congress is the one who eventually passes a budget and approves of it. So those political parties can differ on how money should be spent. So the basic understanding here is in our current political system, so for instance, conservatives, which is right now is the, currently the Republican Party, they believe in lower taxes, which of course would mean that we would have to cut federal spending. So you'd have to cut some social programs, you'd have to cut money out of other items that you see on the pie chart uh, on this page. Um, whereas liberals are typically for more social programs, they're for expanding social security and Medicare and Medicaid and adding new programs to help out people. But what that means in turn is that there should be higher taxes. So that's the balance and the, the, the cause of the fighting between the two political parties when we talk about tax dollars and how they're spent. And of course the party in power has more power to determine how the government spends revenue. So uh, in times past you might have the Democrats are in control of both the House of Representatives and the Senate, so they would be able to dictate how the government spends its money. Right now we have the Republicans are in charge of the House and the Democrats are in charge of the Senate, so they have to make compromises. So that's why you have different areas of the budget fluctuate from time to time. So part of our budget and part of your tax dollars are to go to pay the salaries of your representatives. Um, federal taxes go to federal, or some of the part of that small portion that goes to your federal representative. State taxes go to your state representatives, so on and so forth. As well as the president gets paid through tax dollars, 
um, government employees, so the, all the people who work on uh, Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C., and for all the government departments around the country, they're paid through tax dollars. Members of the military are paid through tax dollars. So not all the money for the military goes to building new weapons and stuff like that. A lot of it goes to making sure that from generals all the way down to privates are paid an adequate wage. So that's how we spend money. Other ways that we can generate revenue, meaning create or bring in money other than tax dollars, are fees that are co collected from businesses and individuals that need licenses to operate. So if you want to open a particular, or you want to open up a business, you have to get a business license. And the money that you have to pay to get that license goes to various levels of government. Um, there's also fines. So if you uh, violate the law, one of the first things that you're going to have to do is pay a fine. Uh, and so those, all those fines collected add to the overall revenue that the government gets. And then finally, if at a time we need to borrow money, the federal government will issue bonds. And these are essentially, they are, um, somebody gives, like we have here, we have a bond for $10,000 on the screen. So somebody gives the government $10,000 and the government promises to pay them back with interest. So with a little bit money, a little bit more money added on top of that. And typically government bonds are a safe investment, but they're not, you can't buy like a $100 or a $1,000 government bond. They're usually fairly large. Uh, unless we're in a time award, they'll, they'll get those down a little bit. Uh, but these can be bought by individuals. These can be bought by businesses. These can be bought by other governments to help our government finance itself. And that is all for today.